It's Tuesday, January 13th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. An Egyptian court has acquitted 26 men arrested last month in a raid on a Cairo public bathhouse. The case illustrates the government's ongoing witch hunt for members of the gay community. On December 7th, a pro-government TV station aired a video showing half-naked men being dragged out of the bathhouse. A local reporter has admitted to tipping off police about what she described as a den of mass perversion spreading AIDS in Egypt. On Monday, the group was cleared of charges that varied from debauchery to performing indecent public acts. The acquittal comes less than a month after an appeals court reduced prison sentences for eight men convicted for appearing in an alleged gay wedding video. A young Rohingya woman has suffocated to death while being trafficked through southern Thailand. On Sunday, authorities found nearly 100 migrants of Myanmar's Muslim minority group inside five delivery trucks. All but 30 of them were under the age of 18. Two of the drivers were arrested on charges of human trafficking. Thousands of Rohingya who have fled violence and persecution in Myanmar's Rakhine state have fallen into the hands of smugglers. Scores never make it to their intended destinations. A senior Ugandan rebel leader who was captured last week in the Central African Republic is calling on his comrades to lay down their arms. In an audio recording aired on Ugandan television, Dominic Ongwen, who was a senior commander in the Lord's Resistance Army, said President Yoweri Museveni had forgiven him. Ongwen is wanted by the ICC for crimes against humanity. Ugandan authorities say he's being held by US forces helping African nations fight the LRA. Uganda often airs messages from former rebel fighters to encourage defections. The rebel group is accused of killing thousands and kidnapping children to use as fighters and sex slaves. A storm has dumped snow across parts of Saudi Arabia, but there's a cap on how much fun can be had in this rare winter wonderland. A prominent Muslim scholar has issued a fatwa, or religious order, against the building of snowmen. According to Sheikh Mohammed Salah al-Minjed, constructing idols in the likeness of humans or animals is considered sinful in Islam. But if the object represented is lifeless and doesn't have a soul, the cleric says it's fair game. The edict sparked immediate controversy online. The Saudi government has yet to comment on the hordes of children saddened by the fatwa. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Je pense que va se passer exactement ce que les gens qui ont fait l'attaque euh, prévoyaient et espéraient, qui est que ça va aggraver les tensions. Donc pour nous, c'est déjà des militants de notre parti qui sont de, de nos partis qui sont fait tuer. Euh, deuxième chose importante, on ne veut pas que ça serve comme le 11 septembre à justifier des guerres par derrière. Vive la paix Vive la paix Vive la République oh, 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 oh